actually amazing. Congratulations. I mean, I've taken myself beyond anything I've ever done physically and mentally. And I doubt I'll ever do anything like that again. But um, yeah, for the guys who have backed the ambition, a huge thank you. I love the fact that this simple idea, you know, I was a 12 year old kid who pedaled across Scotland and 22 years later, I'm taking on the ultimate, my ultimate dream in endurance cycling. I've barely walked for two and a half months. I've got out of bed at 3.30 in the morning. I've got on my bike at 4 a.m. I've ridden till 9.30, 10, 10 o'clock at night. Um, I've been living in this weird bubble where I literally eat 9,000 calories a day, try and ride my bike 240 miles a day and repeat. And the big picture of the world is obviously way too scary. It freaks me out. So um, it's literally about riding to the next horizon. But at this point, getting back here, I've probably played over my mind hundreds of thousands of times. Le vélo devait être le même du début jusqu'à la fin. Bien sûr, s'il si y a des crevaisons, il faut changer le pneu, mais le vélo doit rester le même. Aussi, il avait une équipe de soutien avec lui, la voiture, il y avait d'autres cyclistes. Bien sûr, à Paris, c'est impossible. Mais par exemple, quand on fait une distance, les vélos devaient être à 5 mètres de lui. Il devait vraiment faire le trajet tout seul.